five of his past six seasons, Bryce Gibbs has been one of Carlton's official leaders. Today on Inside Carlton, we find out why the former number one draft pick decided not to nominate for this year's leadership group. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough decision. I uh, thought I'd, I'd step away, um, you know, purely just to get my own backyard right. Um, you know, as a leader, you, you, you strive to play consistent footy every week and probably at times I, I didn't feel I was doing that last year and maybe found it hard to uh, give some guys some feedback on, on different things that maybe I wasn't doing myself. So, uh, like I said, it was a tough decision, but I thought um, you know, it's best I just step away this year and, and get my own backyard right and, and go from there. So, you said it's a tough decision. Did you consult with anyone else? before you made your choice? I thought about it long and hard myself. Um, spoke to a couple of, couple of people close, uh, that I'm close with around me, but at the end of the day, it was my decision, and um, you know, I thought probably that's probably the best move going forward. What's the response been from your teammates? Yeah, I have had a couple of, uh, you know, people have asked me why didn't you nominate, you know, what was your, your thoughts behind it, and I've, like I've said, they, those were my reasons, but um, you know, there was no pressure from, from my uh, you know, players or, or coaches to, uh, to nominate. Um, they, they left it up to me and that was the decision I made. So last year was obviously a tough season for everyone involved. Did you feel that there was extra pressure on you because you were in the leadership group? Oh, it definitely was a disappointing year for the club. Um, you know, a lot of things didn't pan out the way we, we wanted them to. Um, and you know, it's natural to, uh, you know, probably go inside your shell a little bit. Um, look, we, we know that as a playing group, and, and we're going to look forward to, um, you know, resurrecting that this year. And uh, you know, we're hoping to have a big year and, and changing that around. So it is a new leadership group. You come out, Jamo comes out, Chris Judd comes out. How do you reckon uh, the group of five and Nick Dagen coming into that group will go? Yeah, I think it's it's a really good good mixture. Um, obviously. Uh, most of the guys are in the, the leadership group, not only last year but you know previous years before that as well. And, and Nick Dygan coming in really adds a lot. He's uh, he's got really strong leadership qualities, and, and playing in in the back line, he's really going to run the ship from back there. And his voice and directions, um, you know, top notch. So I think it's going to be a, a good mix of blokes, and um, they'll lead the team really well this year. So have you ruled out? nominating ever again for the leadership group or is it something that this year this is just what you want to focus on and you'll assess at the end of the season? Oh definitely not ruling it out. Um, you know, I like to think I'm well respected within, within the playing group and uh, what I say around the place is valued and the players have you know, certainly given their feedback to me uh, around those, those issues so um, yeah it was just more just getting my own backyard right and um, getting finding that consistency and um, you know, hopefully in the future I could step back in there. So new coach, obviously some new game structures. Where do you, where, do, where can we expect to see you playing this season? Yeah, it has been has been good. Uh, a lot of fresh ideas. Um, Nick's brought in, not only Nick but Rob Wiley as well. He's he's bringing a lot of different things to the table, which the, the group are really thriving on, and it's it's great to see. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing everywhere. Um, hopefully, spend a bit more time in the midfield, which should be which should be good. I, you know. Really want to get in there and, and help the middies out, and whether it's a run with roll, playing on the wing, playing inside, um, it'd be nice to uh, sneak up forward at times and spend a bit of time there. But I think you'll find uh, I'll be playing very various roles throughout the year. And with round one sort of itching quite closer, uh, that fire in the belly, ready to go. Cannot wait. Uh, sort of January is a, a tough sort of month. Um, you're still a little bit away from practice matches and that sort of thing, but. We know we've got three or four weeks ahead of us to train hard now and, and the games are right around the corner. So uh, we're, we're really looking forward to getting into it and uh, like I said, um, you know, resurrecting some of the, the form we had last year and we're looking forward to the Tigers already round one. We we'll look forward to following your progress and wish you best of luck for 2013. Thank you very much.